Many years ago, there was once a great empire that lived in modern-day Yemen. They were known as Ard and were a group of tribes. There are a few things about the civilization. 1. They liked to build tall buildings. 2. They built monuments on elevated places. Some can still be seen here. 3. They mainly practiced farming, and rainwater would be their source. Everything was going cool for Ard, except for the fact they had become morally corrupt and started to worship stone idols. So God Almighty sent the prophet who would peace be upon him, to reform them. In the Holy Quran, chapter 11, verse 53, it says, And O my people, ask forgiveness of your Lord, then turn to him. He will send over you clouds pouring down abundant rain, and will add strength to your strength, and turn not away sinners. From this, we can see that obedience to a prophet also provides material wealth, as well as spiritual wealth. Hood was not trying to become powerful through his preaching, as his, as his opponents wrongly suggested. Hood said in the Holy Quran, chapter 26, verse 128, My reward is only with the law of the worlds. Prophets don't preach for power, but for the sake of God, and to reform their people to turn to God. After his people rejected him, Ard were punished with a sandstorm for seven nights and eight days. They were buried beneath sand hills, and little trace remains of them today. Hood and those who accepted him were saved. Thank you for watching.